All right, folks, we're gambling a little bit of rain today. I didn't see any lightning on the radar, but uh, definitely there's a couple of nice little raindrops falling right around me. Uh, that one broke up. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty devious on camera. So I'm not gonna go far to start. I'm gonna watch that radar a little bit. There's your gamble map. See, if you pick with it, you pick a day to fish that they're calling for thunderstorms or rain, in general, you're probably gonna have the water to yourself. That's the drawback, obviously. If you uh, pick the wrong time to fish on that day, get ready, you're gonna get your, your teeth kicked in. We haven't seen lightning, no thunder, so I'm optimistic that uh, even if I get rained on, uh, play it kind of safe, uh, I can bail within 15 minutes, lay the rods down, so let's see. Oh, what we got there, so redfish. Oh, that's a trout, a speckled trout, huh? All right, that's how you land them, my friends. That's how you land them. That was on that four inch uh, Z-Man paddle tail. Um, I got a, I think this is a Texas eye, so it's a swing hook. This particular fish needs to be 14 inches to keep. And it's a 15. 15 inches, yeah, that's just fine by me. We're doing a little meat fishing today. Right, that'll be the first fish I can keep for the day. Casting along the edge of the rocks here, letting this jig kind of slowly fall down the rocks. And there we go, I'm try to do it again. All right, there should be a fish or two here, right? That's a good fish. All right, let's find a trout. That's on the whip tail. Let's see what kind of fish we got. Uh, you'd be surprised. Isn't that amazing how, how big of a bait I'm throwing? <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's surprising. Certainly got an un unlimited amount of real estate to work today because the boat's around and a good tide. Conditions are perfect. And it's not too much doing back here. Fish. See what it is. Might not like what I'm about to see here. I don't even think this thing knows he's got hooked. Jeez Louise. Very nice quality flounder right there. Alright, let's take a quick measurement of this fish. All right, 21 and a half. What a beautiful flounder. These uh, southern ones seem to have a little bit more of a, a wider base than the summer flounder. But yeah, that's a 21 and a half inch flatty. That was cool. Summer in North Carolina, man. Just thunderstorm after thunderstorm after thunderstorm. A lot of it's real quick, but gotta be really ready because shit can sneak up on you really fast, so. Don't want to mess you don't really want to mess with it too bad if you catch my drift small heads here oh yes yeah, sir real tight there let's see what that is huh. something we don't see every day a cro croaker Eating a zoom fluke. Yeah, that's not a bad one either. Let's see what that is. Flounder was my guess. I'm gonna find out right now though. Look at that. Yeah, flounder. A lot of activity out here, man. That'll be another like 16 or 17. North Carolina's minimum size when the season's open is 15. These flounder are beating up on these uh these mullet over here, man. I think that's another flounder, is my guess. That's gotta be. 
better one. Oh, it's kind of fun doing this in the backwater, catch and release, of course, but man, look at that one. Nice flatfish, man. Sucks I gotta release him. All right, my man. Peace out. You know what? I was really, I'm kind of surprised to see flounder um, on the feed here. I really thought I was gonna bump into speckled trout, um, but now that I'm, yeah, I'm not that surprised. I think we had a, a fish was probably like 19 and a half, is my guess. Maybe 20. They're harassing these schools of mullet, finger mullet. Flounder really follow them hard. So if you're in a state with an open flounder season all i need to tell you is find your mullet and you'll probably find your flatties for the most part so i think this is a pretty cool concept i haven't fished them much i know the a lot of the backwater guys swear by these these types of jig heads and that's some wicked weather down there though i'll tell you that much well that was two very nice flounder uh got all of them on the regular soft plastics for procure uh yeah that would have been cool to keep those but uh, that's okay uh, I think since uh, I think we, we actually had all the storms push out and man, there are some spooky looking clouds out there uh, I think they're kind of for the most part pushed out. Uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this up uh, Maybe I'll do an hour's worth of sheep's head fishing right now um, Kind of what I'm thinking to get a couple of those uh, We'll make a couple more quick uh, speckled trout tries though. Let's see what happens All right, uh, and in this bucket I've got whoops. Sorry about the camera. I got about two dozen mud crabs in my bait shark key west low drag high float big bucket it's supposed to have a, the least amount of drag for kayak angling so uh so far so good all right we're gonna hook these guys uh i don't know probably out of the socket through another good sized crabs perfect for uh sheep's head fishing and there we go now we're ready to catch some dinner that we couldn't keep those flounder but i think we should be able to keep some sheeps right There we go. Go knock on the sheeps, man. I got a lot of spunk, you know? All right. There we go. This is a sheep's head. Look at that chump. Gosh, that's a clean chump. That's crazy how tough those fish are. Something bit him in his early years for sure. How crazy is that? Well, you deserve fish deserved survival in my opinion. <laughs> Bigger fish. Got ourselves some dinner. Didn't get squashed by thunderstorms. Um, these are quality. Five pounders or so. All right, we got a lot of stuff that's sneaking up. <laughs> and I, I don't want to just be caught out here. It's 7.15, I'm going to head in. Uh, let's take a look how big these sheep's head are. Yeah, 21. It's kind of the, the bigger of the two. So those are like five, those are like fives or sixes, somewhere around there. Good sized fish. We're going to put them on ice. All right, I'm pedaling in and now. Um, not bad. That's not bad fishing. I would have loved to have seen a couple of redfish to catch on artificial, but kind of a different dynamic than out in the ocean at 30 feet. Uh, different than the, the inlet. This is, you know, creek, marsh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, kind of fun fishing. Um, pretty casual. Like, I take the, the backwater casual. It's not my strength. I know that. It's been an interesting afternoon of weather. It's definitely been uh, kind, of, kind of cooking, you know? So, uh, well, check out the video's description what we used. Uh, Procure Manhattan. I think I used um, split tail shads. Uh, Procure Manhattan quarter ounce jig heads. I don't think I went heavier than quarter ounce today. And, oh, three eighths. Three eighths was as heavy as I used today. Um, caught a couple fish on popping corks, but nothing really to write home about on that. A uh, smaller flounder on those. Uh, and a couple speckled trout. So, eh, you know, not too bad, man. This is July fishing here. Uh, you catch some fish for sure. Uh, definitely the sheep's heads, what I like to do this time of year, because it's definitely the best quality stuff. 
Um, can't keep those flounder, so a couple dumping, dumping a little bit of rain there. I think I've dodged rain all day today, so I know my, <laughs> I know it's coming for me. Uh, those that are curious about Hobie, uh, um, Hobie said they're going to replace my um, 2018 Outback. Um, it's been three months so far. Uh, we're waiting to find out what I'm going to get. It's been, sorry, it's been two months since my 2018 cracked. So we're waiting. Uh, we got to find out what we're going to get over the 2018 uh, Outback. So hopefully uh, every single Hobie I have cracked has been a 2018. So I've cracked two 2018s in the drywall and one 2018 in the scupper. I've never cracked a Hobie myself before that. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I really hope I don't get a 2018, all right? Got some stuff over here that's concerning. Uh, this stuff, I think I should be okay. Uh, but yeah, it's a very gnarly day of weather. We got a lot of these dark clouds now, so. All right, check out the video's description. Uh, everything we use. Those bottom sweeper jigs, if you like them, pick them up from that link in the video's description. It supports the channel. Uh, those eye strike jigs, I think they're a South Carolina company. Uh, I like them. I did. Uh, I'll play with them a little bit more, um, especially throwing those smaller profiles like uh, throwing them on those zoom flukes. Seemed like they worked pretty well. So. All right, let me go. <laughs> Hopefully uh, we'll catch up uh, very soon. More pompano, I wanna catch more pompano. I can't keep flounder, so uh, all I could do in the backwater right now is redfish and sheep's head and you know, the trout here and there. So I think we're gonna do another pompano video next. So let me see what I can do solo.